Hey everybody, Dubsack Matt here. Just wanted to give you a quick uh, video of my grandfather's um, first place award winning cabochon collection. This is a fire opal. Very thick. Can't see on the camera, but it's translucent. Um, and there is only one small um, crack. It's not a crack, but it's a um, just an imperfection in the stone. It's almost a perfect. And actually, the crack kind of um, gives it some more bling bling. It's, I forgot what it's called. It's not a bad crack. It's one of those cracks to where it's supposed to be there, you know? But, anyway. Another fire opal. This one has an inclusion in the center of... I think it's the... It, different color opal yeah there's like a tip of opal going into it and if you I don't know if you can see but it has like ripples thanks to that inclusion it's so beautiful this one's not quite as thick as the other one but this one's my favorite my favorite right out of the opals that is and it's probably one of my favorites out of all of them that one can't, I know this camera sucks. I wish it would show better. And then here's a quick. This is, I think it's called Chalcedony. Or something like that. It's 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 got a cat's eye, but let's see if I can get it to show the cat's eye. There's not enough ambient light, I don't think. It does have a cat's eye, but it's not showing. Oh, well. Moving on. This is an excellent example of one of my grandfather's cabochons. This is tanzanite, I believe. Could be wrong on that. It could be tourmaline. It could be... There's a few different things it could be. But there's that one. Pretty thick. Let's say he's got some nice carrots right there. Nice and translucent. And then I don't know if I mentioned, but this these cabochons actually won the 1968 cabochon con contest for the whole state of California. Um uh, and they were made by my grandfather, Bob Duncan. Anyway, this is one of my favorite cabochons that he made just because it's so simplistic in its beauty. And I believe this is tanzanite. I'm not positive, though. It's um, a dang near perfect lens. So, perfectly clear. With the, the, well, actually, there's a hint of purple to it, but you can't see it on the camera. On the, yeah. Let's see if you can... Oh, yeah, there you go. Get some nice bling off of that one. And I have a few other ones of those, but I'm going to skip a few. These are... um I think it's called Imperial Topaz. Just rough pieces. Um, Imperial Topaz is one of my favorite crystals. It's so beautiful. Um, and then... Here, I'll show you guys this one right here. These are tumble stones. And this is a very high quality piece of uh, tanzanite. Tumbled. I believe it's tanzanite. I'm not positive though. I'm no gem expert, but anyway. Here's a tumbled. It's either quartz or colorless tourmaline. I don't know. I don't know how to tell. And I don't talk to anyone, so if anyone would like to comment or like help me help me identify some of this stuff, let me know. Here's a nice piece of onyx. It's fairly translucent. 
Ooh, this is one of my favorites. I'm glad I picked this one. All right. This is um from a twig or a stick or whatever of um wood, petrified wood. And as you can see, it has some nice orangey yellow color. And that's because um about 30% or about one third of this, it, you know, it looks like solid petrified wood, but no, it's not. This is um, it, it, it the wood has been replaced in in the orange spots by um, la la, what's it called? Amber. Yeah. So this is this is uh wood with amber inside of it. Let me see if we can. Oh, it's too bright. It's not gonna. But if you put it up to the light, the light will go through it. But that's just too bright. But it is translucent. You can't tell from this view, but or from this view. But there's a big chunk of this. Where if you shine the light through it, it's all translucent amber. Oh, and I forgot to, here, I'll show you this. This is one of my favorite cabochons, and you know what? I, out of all the places, I found this in, in like a junk pile. Like a, like a, not a junk pile, but like a rock pile where uh, after my grandfather had passed or whatever, it, that's where they had were just putting stuff where they didn't know where to put it. And I found this absolutely fabulous it's a little dull from being out in the sun. It does need a bit of a repolish. Um, but this is amber, and it actually has things inside of it. I don't know if they're bugs, or twigs, or leaves, but this is a very high quality piece of amber, and if polished whew, to a nice, Sheen, oh man, this would be some blang, blang, blang. Um, somebody probably thought it was plastic or something because, um, you know, the um, amber is so light, you know. Somebody probably didn't realize what it was and tossed it outside because that's, I mean, that's probably an expensive cabochon, you know, like it does. Uh, it does have a teeny itty bitty 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 amount of excuse me of damage, um, but it's it's so small. You, it, but anyway, um, in the condition it's in, repolished, I bet you that cabochon. And I really have no idea the price of these. I'm just guessing, completely in the dark. I could be going way over. I could be going way under. I don't know, but I'm guessing that. That this um, this cab right here, this amber cabochon, and it's nice size. I don't, I, you know, I know amber isn't super expensive, but I know it's not cheap either. And this isn't just regular amber; it has stuff in it, as you can see. And w and when you put it in the sun. The stuff that's inside, it's it like sparkles, uh, and if it was polished, it would sparkle. Oh man, it would be beautiful, beautiful, beautiful! I can't wait to. I need to get a polishing wheel, oh, grinder, all that kind of stuff. I want to be able to make my own cabochons. I forgot to show you this one. This is my one of my most favorite cabochons out of them all. I don't think I showed this one yet. Not sure what it is. I thought it was jade at first. It could be jade, um, but it is sparkly, slightly translucent um, green. It's like a shamrock green color. It's nice and sparkly. And then in the center, it's pink or uh, purple deep deep purple it looks black if you shine a light on it you can tell it's purple or if you look really close you can tell it's purple I don't know if the purple will come through on the camera Let me see. no it's not 
anyway. This is my most favorite cabochon. And the camera's not doing it justice, I know. But this one, which is my, this is my favorite cabochon. Like, out of them all, this is my favorite one. Um, I went to my grandpa's backyard, and this is like, you know, he died like 10 years ago at least. I went back to his yard, and I found a 50-pound block of this stuff. It's got purple veins running through it. Oh, it's beautiful. You know what? Here. 